Happy fall, you guys! It's September the 22nd, and in this video, I'll be sharing some cozy moments using my candle warmers. I'll also share a caramel apple cocktail and my pumpkin spice latte that I'm trying out a new tool. And I'm also gonna be sharing my fall 2024 goals with you guys. If you haven't had yours written on paper yet, now's the time to grab you a pen, grab you some paper, and jot down you a few fall goals as well. Before sharing my wonderful 2024 fall goals with you, I hope your fall has started as fabulously as mine did. I got up, turned on a YouTube fall video, put me in the mood for fall, made me a pumpkin spice latte, and I'm about to try out a new tool, you guys, that I found at Hobby Lobby for $4.99. So I wanted to also share what I plan to do after I finish sharing my goals. I made some homemade caramel sauce. Oh my gosh, the recipe will definitely be in the description below. Also, I saw this cocktail online. The recipe for that will also be in the description. All I can say is yum, yum, yum. And that caramel sauce rimmed on the glass. Ooh, it makes it good, but guess what? You can also dip apples in it and it creates all the fall wonderful smells. Oh my gosh. The only thing I didn't make was the popcorn. I bought it, but I love caramel popcorn. And apples with walnuts in that caramel sauce. Yum! Um, no, I think that's gonna be too dark. Let's see. I was trying to get the coziness of the fill in for fall, but I think I'm gonna have to close the blind and put on the paid light instead of relying on the natural light. So I'll be right back. Okay, that's better. Sorry about that. Hey, hey you guys, how's it going? So I hope you can hear me okay. I hope the visual is okay. Y'all, I have had a tremendous start of fall. Today has been such a laid back, cozy type of fall type day. And I'm dressed the part. Like I'm really dressed for fall. I'm ready for my sweater weather. That's a tongue twister sometimes. But anyway, excuse me as I adjust. But yeah, I am about to share with you my fall goals. And it is so appropriate for me to do it on this day, the 22nd of September, because number one, it's the first day of fall, autumn, whatever you call it. And it's four days away from my two year anniversary of being on YouTube. And what else makes this day a pro? Oh, it's a Sunday. And normally on Sundays, they're cozy, we're laid back. So that's what I wanted it to feel like. Thus, the candle warmers that I was showing you guys earlier is still burning. Smells wonderful in here. Fall has 91 days, approximately 91 days this year. And if you have not made a list of things you want to accomplish for these 91 fabulous fall days that we have ahead of us, go ahead and get that done. Okay. So my number one goal that I want to do for these next 91 days, starting with today, matter of fact, I didn't get off to a good start doing this, but I am going to incorporate it the rest of today, is increase my water intake. Now, I did start trying to do that over the summer. I can't say that I did a very good job about that, being that I was really, really dehydrated. 
and you think about fall and winter time it's cooler and you may feel like you don't necessarily have to drink as much water we do just because it's cool does not mean i don't need water so my second goal is um something you've already seen as well earlier i want to add collagen to my diet and the reason being is because it does help your nails it help with hair growth it help your bones and all of that your joints is what they say so i'm testing it out i've been um on my collagen since september 4th and i like it because it's none flavored and i can put it in any beverage that i have coffee uh, tea water smoothie um juice you can put it in any beverage like that and it it's not supposed to take away the taste of what you're drinking now i will add this since i've been doing it since september 4th i can tell the difference that i've added something to my coffee because that's what i've been drinking it in i've been adding it to my coffee so i can tell the difference in when i add it to my coffee it's not taking away the coffee taste and it's not giving it a creamy taste it, I just know something else is in my coffee other than sugar or cream. And I normally drink my coffee black with two sugars and that's it. But sometimes here lately in this weather, I love pumpkin spice. I love warm vanilla in my coffee as well. So we'll see. How Anywho, my other goal is for these next 91 days is to make more coffee at home and that will save me at least a dollar to five dollars six dollars a week maybe if not more it may save a little bit more my next fall goal and actually i can check this one off i've already did it on september 13th i got in my closet and i cleaned it out and when i say i cleaned out my closet i cleaned it out Normally in the past, I would keep things and say, oh, I'll wear that eventually. Uh, uh, uh. Nope, nope, nope. It had to go. So if I couldn't wear it, if I haven't worn it, if I don't even recall the last time I've worn it, it had to go. So I had a great big suitcase that I was no longer using either. And I packed all of the clothes in there, the ones that would fit. And then on top of that, I had another whole bag and I just took them to the Salvation Army. Next, I want to, I want to take a manual bike ride at least twice per week during these next 91 days. I have to start this upcoming week. I'm going to pick two days out of the week to manually ride a bike. I have to pedal, I have to press the brake, I have to put your foot down when you're going too fast, all of that. The next thing that I want to do is start getting regular vehicle maintenance on my vehicles. Now, not anything major, no major work, none of that, but just occasionally having the people check my tires, checking my oil on my own, and then once it's time to get an oil change, do that, which I get my oil change, but just keeping a manual check regularly the other thing that i really want to do is i told you about my upcoming um two-year anniversary on youtube 22 23 24 yeah two years so i want to plan like this i really want to do a live whatever i plan if i planned anything then i will definitely let you guys know the other thing i want to get in the habit of is preparing more crock pot meals now i don't have an air fryer i used to have an instapot that didn't work so i'm trying it worked but it didn't work for me let me re rephrase that it worked it just did not work for me so i like a crock pot i like a good old-fashioned crock pot and i'm preparing my first crock pot meal of the fall tomorrow i already have my recipe already went to the grocery store and purchased everything i need so tomorrow will be officially my first crock pot meal of the fall i plan to incorporate more um, autumn type vegetables the squash pumpkin even i'm gonna try that potatoes sweet potatoes that type of stuff i'm gonna incorporate that into my crock pot meals 
We'll see how that goes. And I may even film a few shorts showing you my crock pot meals. The other thing I want to do is, y'all know I've been having renovations done on my tiny house. One of the last renovations is being done hopefully by November 1st, which is to add in a mini split. I've had a um, portable air and heat in there and I want to remove that and have the guys add a mini split. And I've already purchased the mini splits, but I just have to get them put in. I want to get a more permanent tenant in instead of revolving tenants. Of course, revolving tenants bring in more money, but more permanent tenants is more steady. I like the steadiness of it. I also want to save extra for my utilities. Uh, I mentioned on a video, a budgeting video in the past that um, I could have paid like $300 versus a hundred and something dollars if I would have jumped on to budget billing. And I could have, it sounded really good to do at the time, but I didn't feel I needed to jump on budget billing because I wanted to be in control of my own utility bills fluctuating. I want to be in control of my own budget. So that's what I want to get in process this fall. I also want to finish my 15 week football challenge. <sighs> so I've been um, keeping score of some football games, college football teams, and I've been saving their scores. I'm not gambling, I'm not doing that. I'm just simply picking some teams and whatever they scored for that particular week, that's what I'm saving. The 15th week ends December 9th. So by December 9th, I should be emptying my football and counting and seeing how much I have saved in my 15 week college football challenge. And that's a free download. So if you have not gotten that free download yet, then why don't you print it out? It doesn't matter when you start. We still have a few more weeks to go to get to the end of football seasons, college regular football season. So yeah, jump in there, save you some money. And you can, you don't even have to like football to do it. You just simply check in scores. You don't have to sit and watch the game of football. I also want to um, reduce my credit card debt. And I don't have a specific date in mind and I don't have a specific amount in mind. I have 21 credit cards and loans combined, 21. I don't know the full total of those yet. I'm almost scared to add the totals up. But whatever the totals is, I don't want it to take me five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten plus years to get those paid off. I really want to jump in on those bills like with a vengeance almost. And I slowed down a bit on doing that. I just I have to get back in the mood of doing that. And so that's what I want to do. But credit cards have got to go and I need them to go according to my own pace. Like I don't need to rush and pay this off only to have to put something back on the credit card the next month because until they're finished with these renovations that I need them to do, I don't know what else is going to have to go on the cards. And let's see what else as far as health goes. So I plan on for the next 91 days of fall, establishing a healthy bedtime routine. What is that going to be? I have no clue, but tonight is gonna to be my first night trying to put it into action and practice. And I'll try to do that and let you guys know what I'm doing, if it's successful or not, and all of that jazz, okay? Moving on, let's see, mental goals. I have some mental goals and some emotional goals that I really want to inculcate in this fall, this fabulous fall that we're having. And um, one of them, believe it or not, you guys, is to read more. Now, I'm not the one that cozy up with the book. Um, I like to read and know and knowledge. I like to read and know knowledge but I don't necessarily have to read a story about something. I'm, I'm just not. So what will I be reading? Good question. I'll share it with you when I do it. The other mental mind frame goal is to integrate mindfulness exercises in my daily routine. And I plan to do this, I'll tell you in just a minute how emotional goals, um, 
one of my emotional goals is to seek therapy. And so when I was writing this down earlier and I look back on it just now, even I'm like, okay, why did I write seek therapy? Well, I forgot. I was thinking to myself, sometimes when you, when you say seek therapy, people automatically think, oh, you need to go and talk to a counselor or what have you. For me, seeking therapy mostly means do things that are very therapeutic for me. So massages are therapeutic for me. Listening to soft love songs that I love, my playlist of love songs, I love that. That's therapeutic for me. Sitting out on my rocker and watching leaves fall off trees is going to be very therapeutic for me. I love watching leaves fall off the trees. So um, seeing sceneries that are breathtaking, that is therapeutic for me. So when it says seek therapy, that's what I mean. Um, but I'm not knocking talking to a counselor or talking to a psychiatrist or a sociologist or whoever you need to talk to, a friend, a relative, whoever, um, because that can be therapeutic too, to just get it off your chest. Sometimes you just need to get it off your chest. Sitting in the car, screaming to the top of my lungs with my windows rolled up, that's therapeutic for me sometimes. So another yeah. emotional goal that I have is to engage in a creative outlet. Doodling is therapeutic. It helps to calm me. So see what you can do to engage in a creative outlet. Writing, drawing, music, singing. Singing is good too. I love to sing. I can't sing, but I love to sing. I th well, wait, wait, wait. Everybody can sing. Now, whether it sounds good, that's the difference. But I love to sing. My physical goals, I've mentioned some of those. Um, outdoor activities, healthy snacking, those two will be covered when I in just a minute when I share with you this goal of mine. I was thinking I need to do more working or exercising in some form or fashion that will help, you know, strengthen my posture. If I'm stretching or what have you. I used to go to this place called Stretch Zone where they literally take your every part of your body and they stretch it and that was kind of costly so i had to stop that it was not within my budget but doing that on my own finding activities on my own and maybe once in a while saving up to go to places like stretch stretch zone can really um help with my physical physicality of it the physical the, the physical the physical busy 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 yeah that Financial goals. Um, I talked about my budget. I talked about saving for a goal because the challenges that I do now, they go towards specific goals, specific purpose funds. So we basically got that covered. Invest in learning. Now, I do several educational courses throughout the year. I attend them and I gather a lot of information. I take good notes and I have a good mental checkup with myself. I want to include more of those. I wanna include more learning investment for me. Invest in learning, that's my goal. Y'all, this is like the biggest goal that I think I've had oh, in quite a while. I've been working toward this goal um, for over a little over a year now because I see myself being affected by it. And so I have to make it a goal. And this is the year that I actually say it out of my mouth that I'm making it a goal. What is it? Slowing down. Stop rushing. Yeah, that's a goal. And I created a 30 day work book that you do on your own time for 30 days. And its purpose is to help you slow down, but accomplish more. And I'll be mentioning more about that later. It's not finished, but I have a goal of November the 1st to finish it and to make it available to anyone who's like me saying, how in the world is it September? It was just January. It was just March. It's about to be December. So if you're with me on that, on that level right there, this workbook that I created, again, is 30 days, is going to incorporate mindful 
activities is going to incorporate healthy snacks, is going to incorporate outdoor activities and self-care all the while you are rushing less but accomplishing more. Y'all wait for that one, okay? I'm so excited about that one. Anywho, that's my goals. That's my goals. I have 91 days to accomplish my wonderful fall fabulous goals. And I hope that your goal list is just as achievable as mine. Come on, we got to get busy. Ooh, we got to get busy. The first thing I'm going to do when I get off this camera with you guys is, guess what? I'm going to drink me some water. The best time to do it is starting Thank you guys so much for joining me. And until next time, you guys enjoy your day, night, whatever time it is, wherever you are. Enjoy yourselves. Bye-bye, you guys.